I'm Natalia from IntelliCAD Technology Consortium, and in this video I will review the IntelliCAD 11 release. IntelliCAD 11 has many new features, but really focuses on new view and visualization techniques. Our first feature is the Section Plane command, which creates a section object that behaves as a dynamic cutting plane through any entity. Select points to draw your own section plane, or use predefined sections using the orthographic option, and select plane type. Use the Move Grip to display a live dynamic section. Use other grips to resize and reorient direction of the cut. Also, you can change section entity properties through the properties pane. Please note that section planes are available only when OpenGLS graphics device is on. Initial implementation of the ViewCube is available in IntelliCAD 11. This navigation tool gives you opportunity to easily visualize the current view status and switch between standard and isometric views. Appearance of the view cube is controlled by the NavCube display system variable, the NavCube command, or the view cube button from the view ribbon tab, and visualization settings such as view cube size, positioning, Transparency and behavior between view changes can be modified in the View Cube Settings dialog. Also, the View Cube Settings dialog is accessible by right clicking the View Cube. You can switch the current view to parallel or perspective projection. Also, the Drawing Area View menu is now available, where you can conveniently switch between predefined views using view controls and select different visual styles in the Visual Style Controls. Display of the Drawing Area View menu is controlled by the VP Control System variable, also accessible through the Display View Controls checkbox in the Options dialog box. You can rotate or move selected entities using New 3D Positioner tool. Just select entities you want to relocate or rotate, specify Base Point, Center of the 3D Positioner and then move cursor over the 3D move part of the 3D positioner to specify an axis or plane to relocate selected entities along to. Move cursor over the 3D rotate part of the 3D positioner to specify an axis to rotate selected entities about. And now I want you to relax and enjoy a walk and fly through this model. Three D walk and three D fly commands are available in the menu view walk and fly item, in the walk and fly toolbar, and from the new visualize ribbon tab. You can change speed, perspective, and walk elevation values in the walk and fly settings dialog box. Setting an appropriate step size and lens length for walk and fly is critical, especially for building interiors. You need a small step size so you can walk slowly through a room and the wide angle lens to see the full room. I used a 2 inch step size and 20 mm lens length for this walkthrough. Be sure to experiment with the walk and fly settings to achieve the best results for your walkthroughs and fly arounds. The data link feature was available in the 10.1a release but I want to highlight it for the IntelliCAD 11 with its full functionality. Data links can be accessed through the menu bar, annotate ribbon tab, the insert table dialog, or data link command.
The Data Link Manager dialog appears where you can create a new data link, modify, rename or delete existing one, and open a linked Excel file. All these options are also available in the context menu. Let's use the new option, which redirects to the new Excel data link dialog, where you can specify an Excel file and file path to use to create a data link. Specify an Excel sheet to link to and specify a range if needed. To insert an existing data link, use the Insert Table dialog, and when the data link is inserted, you can edit it just like any other table. Editing or removing your rows and columns, merge and unmerge cells, and change the cell format. You can also unlock cells to edit their contents using the cell locking unlocking options. Please note that the table cell contextual ribbon tab has two new additions, cell styles and insert panels. Using options from the Cell Styles panel, you can specify alignment for cell content, table cell style, and table cell background color. You can also apply selected cell properties to other cells using the Match Cell button. In the Insert panel, you can insert a field into the selected cell or insert a formula. When all editing is done, you can save CAD table changes to the external spreadsheet using the Data Link Update command. Select the Write Data Link option or the Save to Source button in the Annotate ribbon tab. You can also update the CAD table to changes in the spreadsheet using the Update Data Link option or the Update from Source button. You can create startup suites in IntelliCAD 11. Reach it through Upload and the Upload Application Files dialog, click the Startup Suite button and see the list of application files that will be loaded at Startup. And now we would like to highlight all other user interface changes. Publish dialog went through many UI improvements. Add, Remove, Edit, Move Up and Move Down buttons have icons now. Reverse Sheet Order button was added and Browse was added in the Published Options information box, so you can set the folder location for published sheets. You can multi-select items in the Sheet list and select a page setup or layer state for one line item, and it will apply to all selected items. Also, an ability to filter drawings by model or layout when you add new sheets is available. Some users found that either too many or too few sheets were loaded automatically when the Publish dialog opened, so there are improved options in the On Dialog Display group box to make it easier to load sheets automatically according to your preference. Some users missed having the Quick Select on the Properties pane, so we added it back. New Glow effect was added for selected entities. You can turn this feature on and off using the Selection Effect System variable, Display tab from the Drawing Settings dialog, and change the glow color using the Selection Effect Color System variable and the Drawing Window Color Scheme dialog. Please note that this effect is only available when using the OpenGLS graphics device. If you are a Tool Palette user, I think you will like this productivity tip. Now you can add new entity creation commands to the tool palette by dragging and dropping a corresponding entity. FM pipe command was added to the Draw 3D ribbon tab, Draw menu, and Faucet model meshes toolbar. In IntelliCAD 11, you can change the font for the command bar prompts using the font button on the display tab from the options dialog. Let's move to new commands. New hatch generate boundary command creates a non-associative boundary around an existing hatch. Next are three companion commands: hide objects, isolate objects, and unisolate objects. These commands help you to temporarily remove clutter from your display so you can concentrate on a specific area or entities of interest. The Hide Objects command temporarily hides selected entities. 
the isolate objects command temporarily hides all entities except the selected ones. And the unisolate command re-establishes the appearance of entities hidden by the hide objects and isolate objects commands. Reverse command reverses vertices of selected lines, polylines, helixes, and splines. Available in the Home ribbon tab, Modify menu, Toolbar, and Tool palettes. Same locations for the Break at Point command, which breaks the selected open 2D entity, such as a line, arc, or open polyline into two entities at a specified point. This part demonstrates the capability of the offset, extend, trim, break, break at point, and reverse commands when working with walls. Exporting to PDF is not new in IntelliCAD 11, but there is a new PDF export command, which makes it easier to access the export dialog with the PDF file type active in the Save As field. Also, Print Preview is now available for the DWG to PDF printer configuration file. Two new features were added to the IntelliCAD Explorer. The first one is an ability to save multiple blocks at the same time. And the second one is the capability to work with beam underlays. Talking about beam underlays, I have to mention a couple more enhancements. First one is the ability to create and assign visibility states in the beam properties pane. The audit command checks for errors in IFC files that are attached as underlays. And support for Autodesk Revit 2022 files. Let's move to additions to existing functionality. When working with geographic locations, a new coordinate system dialog is now available. Please note that the list of coordinate systems that appear in the dialog are specific to the longitude-latitude coordinates that you previously entered. And the GeoMap Service command is implemented to toggle GeoMap services on and off. Next, the changes for grips. New Invert XClip Boundary Grip inverts the appearance of the clipped external reference or block inside or outside the boundary. Insertion Point Grip looks different now. Enhancements were made to improve multiple grip editing. Here is an example with multi-line text. Ability to add vertex to the hedge boundary. An elliptical segment of associated hedge can be edited using ellipse grips. XREF Notify functionality currently alerts users when external DWG reference files have changed or are missing. IntelliCAD 11 now provides XREF notification for the following non-DWG external files. Raster images, PDF underlay, point clouds, and data links. Also, PostGRESQL, MySQL, and WFS connection types were added to the Map Import command, as well as an ability to import polygons as polylines. Although end users think of IntelliCAD as a robust drafting and design product, ITC members use IntelliCAD as a CAD development platform, and no release is complete without new or enhanced development APIs. This new version provides enhancements for Lisp, .NET, IREX, and ADS-SDS APIs. But the big story for IntelliCAD 11 is the new IC IREX API that allows ITC members to easily port AutoCAD object IREX applications to IntelliCAD. ITC members received an early preview of the new API, which has over 14,000 new methods that match the function signatures of object IREX. 
This new API will allow members to easily port existing AutoCAD applications and create a single code base that can be compiled for both IntelliCAD and AutoCAD. Here is an AutoCAD ARX sample that creates an ellipse with an ellipse jig that was compiled for IntelliCAD. After compiling with new IntelliCAD IC ARX header and libraries, this code can now be loaded and run in IntelliCAD. I use the ARX load function to load the sample application and then we run it, showing an ellipse jig and creating an ellipse entity. Stay tuned as the new ICIRX API comes online. There will be many additional applications available for IntelliCAD. This is all I have for now. Please leave your comments and thank you for watching this video.